welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lenann. If you're new here, hi. Thanks for stopping by, checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet. Sometimes about knitting, a lot about yarn, and my journey in this fabulous yarny community. Hey, returning subscribers, thanks so much for coming back and spending a little bit of your Wednesday with me for Make a Long... No, I did it again. It's not Monday. It's not Make a Long Monday. It's Whip Wednesday. I was taking a read. <clears throat> anyway, we're rolling with it, you guys. This has been a day already. So, um, yeah, Whip Wednesday. Uh, today, for Whip Wednesday, I have a finished object. A started object, I have a little bit of happy mail, and I have a question for you. So let's start with my first finished object. You guys, I finished the Mulberry Street um, wrap by Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches. Unfortunately, I don't know what I did with the ball band, so I can't tell you the specifics, but I can tell you what I used. I used one whole ball of Lion Brand Hometown in the colorway Indiana Dunes. That was my center triangle. Then I used just two rows on the big triangle of the Lion Brand Ferris wheel in Buttercup. And then did the the wings with the leftovers. I had three skeins or three cakes of the uh, Lion Brand Ferris wheel. So after I did the two rows, I weighed that out and then I split that in half. So each wing has like one and a half per se on each side. So mine is a little bigger than what Jennifer did, but I absolutely love the way this turned out. It is so gorgeous. I love this. I, I just, it just looks so pretty. It is, it's fall in Indiana. It, it really is. It's very much makes me homesick. Um, it's, it's the perfect blanket wrap. When you want something just to throw over your shoulders and cuddle up with, without adding a ton of coverage, just enough to cover your back and your shoulders. This is perfect. Jennifer, I know you're not watching, but oh my God, I love this pattern. I love everything about this. I think it just makes a really fun accessory. I'm going to try it in some other weights and other type yarn. I want to try one in cotton or some in the... Uh, bamboos. I want to try it in uh, some thinner weight yarn, say like a, a, a sport weight or, you know, a DK weight um, to make something a little uh, less bulky. But I just, I loved this. It's so much. I'm thinking maybe some of my cotton linen for the spring would be gorgeous, but I love the shape and the idea of this. So uh, if you guys have not seen this, check out Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches. It's the Mulberry Street. If I can find it, I'll link it below. It's a easy, um, no, I'm not going to say easy. I'm going to say not difficult pattern. Uh, once you get it, you can whip this thing out because it's basically the granny stitch, but it's the way you do the stitches and the increases and the decreases. It's just so gorgeous. And I love it and I can't, I just can't get over it. I just, I love everything about this and I love the colors that I used. And so, yeah, thank you, Jennifer. This is just beyond gorgeous. And uh, I can't wait to try something else with this pattern because I think it will translate well. So that is my finished object. I'm also going to enter that into the Needles, on, needles at the Ready Does Crochet Bake Along. Uh, they're doing a make-along that's focused on crochet, which is fun because they're a knit-forward um, channel, but um, they're they're 
not going to forget us crocheters that enjoy their channels. So I am definitely going to enter that in that. And that's on Ravelry. Um, they have a, a Ravelry group with a, a chatter thread and a finished objects thread. So um, I'll link them below if you're interested in that. So my other um, finished object is, oh no, not finished. My next whip is I have started working on, people are asking me for the pattern for the scarf that um, is on my profile picture, I believe. And um, there was no pattern. And I've had so many people ask me, what is the pattern for that? And I'm like, all right, let's see if I can recreate it. So I had my daughter send me some pictures of it because she has it. Um, and so, I have spent the last couple of days dissecting the pictures and I think I, I think I've got it and I've started working on this scarf uh, using some Red Heart Dreamy that Lynette from Charm Grammy sent me. Hi Lynette. Um, it's a bulky number five. I don't know what I did with the ball band so I can't tell you how many yarns are on it but I have two of these. And I do believe that'll be more than enough to get the scarf done. Um, I am writing it down as I go. I will, um, once I get this done and double checked, um, I'm hoping by mid-November that I can get the pattern and a tutorial out because I think this would make a really good Christmas gift. So I'm kind of thinking ahead to Christmas gifts and who can't, use a really cool pattern for a, a scarf. So I just got to make sure that there isn't one out there just like it and um, and see if I can't get this done by mid-November. I'm not going to put pressure on myself. If, if I can, if I can, if I can't, then I'm okay with that too. But this is, uh, I have to do this one row by row because I'm writing it down as I go because the first one, I never wrote it down. I just did it. Um, that was before I even had an inkling of an idea, I, way before I had a YouTube channel and uh, before I even thought about people being interested in something that I had created. So I am going to get this uh, written out and uh, see if we can't get a pattern for this one. So that is the other thing I'm working on that is in Boggy Creek. So... Um, Next, let's move to Happy Mail. My friend Cheryl in Indiana, who was my one of my best friends when we were in middle school, um, she sent some uh, squares for the, the Boggy Challenge, but she also sent me some Happy Mail, so I kind of separated them out. Um, she, Cheryl hurt her hand really bad, uh, had to have surgery the whole nine yards. So for her to get back into crocheting in time to get us the squares was phenomenal. So this is what she sent me. She sent me the March 2020 Knit Crate book, the inspiration book. And in it, it has patterns for two different pairs of socks, this cute little cowl, at, or capelet and then this hat and cowl set and the hat and the cowl and let's see no the capelet and these plum socks are the crochet and this is the knitting ones super cute so she sent me these are la bravis light alpaca. The colorway is called chestnut. 100% baby alpaca fingering weight, 400 yards. Hand wash, lay flat to dry. Is this not gorgeous? Look at that beautiful chestnut color. So pretty and it, spot on. That is a true reddish brown chestnut color. They nailed this color. She also sent me some needle stoppers because, you know, I am a new knitter and, you know, stuff falls off. She also sent me 
two cakes of the Karen Swirl Cakes Lovely Layers Collection. Um, these are a bulky number five, suggests a eight millimeter hook. Hand wash, lay flat to dry because it's 77 acrylic, 23 wool. There are 252 yards. This color is smoky plum. Is that not gorgeous? And this is so soft. And I don't think I've ever seen this in the store. Because I, t I tend to not look for bulky weight yarns. This one is the colorway Toasted Almond. So gorgeous. So, so pretty. I love these. So thank you, Cheryl, very much for sending me this beautiful yarn. I can't wait to find the perfect project for this beautiful alpaca. Oh my God, it is so soft. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love you, you know I do. And lastly today, you guys, this is gonna be short and sweet. Um, I'm working on boggy blankets um, and today I'm going to start another one and I need your opinion. The main squares are going to be these bright variegated and then I have the teal, the yellow, the pink, and purple and I think I have a dark purple. I think there's a, a dark purple that goes with this too. Did I drop it? Oh yeah, I dropped it. And a dark purple. So these are the the squares that I'm going to be putting into a blanket. My question for you guys is the hot pink, the light aqua, or the black. When I originally thought it, if I thought if I did the black, it would look like the graffiti cartoons. So I was thinking that, but then I saw the hot pink and I thought, oh, that would be fun. So and then I just tossed in the aqua for sure. Why not? Tell me what you think. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards the black. I think it'll make the colors really pop. But then again, the hot pink is really fun. So, what do you guys think? Should I go with the black on this? I think, I think it would really make the colors pop off the background. So, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, I want to get started on it, you know, sometime this afternoon. So, uh, as soon as you see this, leave me a comment so I can get going. So you guys, that's it. Uh, short and sweet today. Um, you know, I'm busy booking on these um, baggy blankets and sorting squares and making sure that, you know, everything is flowing pretty well. Um, don't forget to check out the Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches pattern for her Mulberry Street uh, wrap. It's gorgeous and you, you will not be disappointed with that. Um, so with that, you guys, I'm going to let you go, uh, take time out for yourself, take care of yourself, because if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of the ones you love, but above all, be kind to everyone. And we'll talk to you on Friday.